Hey guys, it's me, Sonia, and today I want to go over must-haves for labor and delivery. So, everyone's labor and delivery is a little bit different. What is it? Yes, yeah, you. Everyone's labor and delivery is a little bit different. Um, with mine, well, both of mine, they are they're both rather chill. Um, my first labor and delivery, I, I went to the hospital and I had a OBGYN deliver my baby, but deliver her. The second time I went to the hospital, I had a midwife deliver my baby. Um, both times, for the most part, I labored by myself because I didn't want anybody there with me. Um, the first time I went into labor... Um, I didn't know what to do. I had my I had my baby bag packed, but I actually left it at home while I was in labor. Um, and then when my husband brought it to the hospital, he went back to the house to get something, and he left the bag at the house again. So we didn't have most of the stuff I wanted to labor with. Um, but in the bag, we had a pillow, we had water bottles, things of that sort. But what I actually needed during my labor and delivery wasn't a pillow at all. I needed somebody to physically be there. So the first thing I put on my list is... The first thing I put on my list is somebody to labor with you. Whether that's your husband, or a best friend, or a sister. Um, my sister was there for both of my labor labors. Both my deliveries. <laughs> um... She was a really big help. My husband was kind of queasy. He didn't want to be in the room while I was in labor, so he was kind of outside in the hall doing whatever. Um, but my sister's there. She was rubbing my back. She was giving me ice chips. Even the ice chips didn't really work. She was giving me ice chips. I was drinking water. Um, and that's that. Um, next, what I think everyone should have is some sort of pillow. Um... Even though you have your support person there, a pillow is nice for when you're leaning on stuff. Or also um, one of those yoga balls to lean on. I think that's nice. Um, I had house slippers, house slippers to walk around in. When I was in labor, I felt the best for me to manage my pain is to move my hips. So walking was definitely a must for me. So I needed my slippers because I wasn't going to walk in those hospital socks. Um, what next? A heating pad. I had a heating pad. Um, I used it sometimes for my back, sometimes for, I would say, more near my uterus. Um, under my belly, but, you know, under my uterus. And then I also had an ice pack. So I alternated the ice pack and the heating pad. Ice pack, heating pad, ice pack, heating pad. And for the most part, that's all I needed for my labor and delivery. Um... My support person, a pillow, a yoga ball, a heating pad, an ice pack, and ice water and, and room temperature water. That's all I really need. So those are my tips for um, what you need, your must-haves for labor and delivery. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.